This, this video here uh, follows on from the previous one where we created a, an order manually in WooCommerce. Um, and now what we want to do is just uh, edit that order. We want to add on a bit of shipping. Um, this particular installation, the shipping's added manually. Um, when someone does an order through the system, the shipping's calculated automatically and it's added to their final amount that they have to pay. In this case, it's a manual order, so the shipping also has to be done manually. We come across to the right here, the little eye icon, and we click that to view the order. Once that opens up, <coughs> we'll see the order there with the details, customer details and so forth, um, still pending payment. Um, these are the items that are in the order. We want to add a line item. Now that could be a product or something else. In this case, we're going to add uh, the shipping. So we click on add line item. And we'll see here, add shipping cost. We'll click on that. Um, because this is a manual order, we will add shipping, the shipping cost manually. So we're going to choose uh, the, um, uh, the way we're going to send it, which is via Australia Post. So we'll put that in there. And we simply just add a dollar amount. And we know that this is um, four kilos um, net weight. We also know that the <coughs> the gross weight of this order, one with packaging and packing and so forth, uh, will end up being nearer to five kilos. So um, we know that the kilo rate, just for argument's sake, well, let's say the kilo rate is um, say seven, so say five dollars, and it's five kilos. So we're going to add twenty-five dollars for the shipping. And we're going to save that over here, and uh, it'll recalculate um, what needs to be um, paid. So the shipping total now is in here, 25, and we now calculate the total, and um, it will then create a new total for us, which is now $94, including the shipping and the cost of the products up here. So it's these three figures add it up. That's how you add the shipping.